Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous car. It's a 1970 Shelby GT500 Coupe. we got the owner here of many, many years. Mike is going to tell us a little bit about it. How are you doing today, Mike? Mike, fine, thank you. Yeah, what a car. It is. It's an original car. It's uh, a survivor. It's got 40,000 original miles. It's been a Long Island car all its life. And it's very, very well preserved. I, I've owned it for 31 years, and the previous two owners Rolls yeah. it all its life also. So this, this car is a very solid original car. It's got the Cobra Jet motor. It's got a four-speed top loader tranny. It's got the 250 traction lock uh, rear end. Uh, the car runs great. You know, it's again. There's a lot of original parts on the car. Very, very few, if any, re repro. You know, uh, Chinese production cars. Yeah, parts. talk about Chinese parts. I mean, yeah. you could stamp out a Chinese yeah. production part yeah. car just like that, yeah. but to have something that's really a survivor and owned for 31 yeah. years. And the whole interior is original. There's no aftermarket parts in the, in the interior. Everything is there, the space saver in the trunk and everything. And the, the bumpers are original. You can see there's no waves in the bumper and everything. It's an original bumper. The exhaust system is correct. It's got the uh, outlet in the middle where it like it should have. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know, I bought it back in August of 1989, and uh, <laughs> I've owned it for 31 years. Now. God, how old were you then? I was 27 then. 27. Yeah, I bought it 27 years old. Man, what a car! I kept it original because that's the way I wanted to keep it. I didn't want to modify it in any way, in any way. So. I agree, a million percent. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice, it's a nice, solid original car. You know, you don't see many Survivor. You know, a lot of them are restored. I would say most of them are restored. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, sure. Uh, you know, again, you take away the originality when you do that. You can make it really pretty looking and everything, but... Yeah, and then you're going to drive it, you yeah. know, crispy, you, brand new. Right. In other words, you know, you're going to spend, whatever, a hundred and a quarter, 130000 on a concourse restoration. You go to drive it, and you're on the highway, and you get a, a, a pebble in your, your, your paint, and uh, <laughs> it chips it, and you go nuts. But this is just a quality driver car, and I, 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 I kind of like it this way better. Me too. I agree. You know, and the real car guy, I think that he likes it better too. Yeah. I want to see originality. Yeah, you know. I want to see some lacquer paint with some, you know, it's slight got, checking got, in it. the patina of a 51-year-old car. The car was built in October of 69, so. Cool. But, but for its age, I got to say, it looks really, really good. It it's really very does. Presentable, so. I in the what? white with the blue, well, really gray, right? It, well, it's, pa it's they call pastel it pastel gray, gray, but it's really white. If people mm -hmm. who know Fords uh, know that color, it's not as stark as Wimbledon, though. You know, Wimbledon's a real yeah, beige white. Right, exactly. So, and then you got real stripes. These are your original, These are the original stripes. Cal stripes, yes. They're Very not cool. the repro. They, they are the original stripes from 1969 when the car was built. Mm. It was painted, reprinted. It was, it was painted and... in 1979 according to the, the uh, previous owner because of some scratches on the car. Mm -hmm. And they sprayed it over, but what they did was, which was pretty ingenious from back then, yeah. they taped over the decal. Huh. Since they couldn't get the decal, yeah, they it were... was obsolete from Florida sure. in 1979. So they taped over it instead wow. of like grinding it off and just spraying the whole car and then maybe even spraying the stripe on. They did it correctly where they just yep. left the original decal on. I like that. You and can't it, even get the I, right color anymore. That. No, you can't. The repro, the, color, repo. the repro decals are a different shade of blue. Yeah, they're more blue, sky blue. Yeah, they're more of a lighter blue and uh, they're thinner. These are like, like thicker decals and they're also reflective at night also like they were meant to be. Mm. Cool. Super honest. You know? Yeah, it is. It, you can't uh, find these honest cars it. anymore. The car doesn't hide anything. It's really cool. Love the polish you put on there. Original bumpers. You can tell by how smooth they are on the corners. Beautiful straight body. You only put five, little 6,000, 5,000 miles on I uh, bought the car with 35,900 miles in 1989, and now it's got 40,810, so... <laughs> You know, 5,000 miles in 31 years. <laughs> it's that, a love affair. Yeah, it's a love affair. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just wanted to drive it just enough where it wouldn't, you know, season. And get yeah, and keep the juices and, flowing. Yeah, exactly. You got the magazine, too. Yeah, it was a... Uh, Magazine. It was a centerfold and a cover car in uh, the last uh, issue of Mustang Illustrated, hmm. and uh, it's a centerfold. And uh, I got the Marty report to the car. And it's... So they came out to the house and yeah, 
they took pictures of it. And it this was it, the it last was issue, cool. right? This was the very last issue. Huh. You can get it. You, you see it sometime on on the internet for sale, but you know, I got a couple of copies. Very see. Cool. Here, here you go. There it is. Man, when was this done? This was done in 2001, oh. in in May of 2001. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, a, lot, a lot of different. Uh, it was a pretty big spread. Wow. Yeah. It's a, it's an honor to have it in there, especially it is. the last. It is. It really is. You know, I mean, it, they liked it so much they gave me like three or four pages worth. Yeah, right in the middle pushes. too. That's a great shot right there. Yeah. We got the martyr report too. Yeah, you know, the car is uh, pretty rare in numbers, you know, 45 with that paint, mm -hmm. paint coat and paint and trim codes, 54 pastel gray and mm -hmm. 45 with an AMA track stereo, <laughs> you know, that didn't uh, exactly, but I guess back in 1969 it was, it was pretty, uh, pretty cool pretty back cool then, back right? Then, but you know, I, I, if you're going to ask me do I play A tracks, no I don't. <laughs> Sequential tail lights. Yeah. Cool. Let's check out under the hood. Okay. There she is. Yep. Yeah. 428. 420 Cobra Jet. Correct heads, intake, correct block. Mm -hmm. Holly 735 CFM Holly. Mm -hmm. That's what was on there. Which you know, no headers or anything like that. Yep. It's nice to have those on there. Yeah. All these guys back in the day, the first thing they did yeah, throw headers did, on it, yeah, crackers. You, 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 you modified it immediately for more power. You know, you wanted to put headers and a different cam and a different mm -hmm. rear end, and oh, this car survived that uh, that nonsense. That's great. I love that you're a true enthusiast and kept it the way yeah, it was meant I, to be. I, I've always been into original. I know, that's just the way I've been. I like I like stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also have the original regulator. Yeah. yeah. All the correct hoses, correct clamps. Yep. <laughs> Very cool. So it's the original heads, but it's the original heads. Okay. And it's, it's the original. It's the, I don't know if it's the original block, but I did check the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's the original date coded casting number for a Cobra Jet block. So it is a Cobra Jet block. Okay. That I know. It's a C... C7ME-A. Yeah. There was two, two codes for a Cobra Jet. C8ME-A and C7ME-A. This is the C7ME-A. That's verified by the Nevada SAC Club in, uh, in Nevada. That's Excellent. on their website uh, where you can see the correct block of casting would for, for a certain year uh, Shelby's. Hmm. Very cool. The original radiator, by the way. Correct radiator. That's the original Hoka, radiator. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. From Hoka. It's a, it's a, I believe it's a three core. Yeah, it's uh, a three core. It doesn't have air conditioning, so it wouldn't it be a four core. Yeah, this is a correct shroud, too. Yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, is that power steering cooler, that's what that is there. The thing is, is that uh, oh, on the end, yeah. we ordered a four speed in a Cobra Jet in 1969. And the leftover 70, you cannot get air conditioning with a stick. With an automatic, you could, but not with a four speed. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, what's this car without a four speed in it? Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, to me, it's more fun with a stick, you know. I, I mean, more desirable for sure. If you like muscle cars with, you know. Sure, absolutely. With a, with a, with a four speed, that's, that's your type of thing. And it certainly is mine. I, I Automatics with muscle cars kind of like. Not boring, but you know, well, I would say boring. It, it's, it's just like kind of like you know, it's like a ho hum, you know, and you know. it's like having a hot girl without a vagina, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I guess you know what I mean. <laughs> Great to look at, but you can't really use it right. Beautiful interior. I'd say this is all original, right down to the carpet, it is, right? It is, there's no re there's no repo parts in the interior, it's, it's all original rugs, seats. Headliner, cash. 40,812 miles. Shoulder harnesses, the original roll bar, of course, the original door panels. And there's a four speed. Yeah. You, you know how many cars I've seen? I would say out of the 20 or 30 of these I've seen, hmm. only two were a stick. Really? Yep. Yeah. That's the original handle, the Ford handle, you know. A lot of people put the, uh, the Hurst 
shifter in it. And yep. I left, the, I left the original Ford handle in it. I like that. Keep it like it was meant to be. Yeah. Original roll bar, original belts. And only original once. Yeah, that's what they say, you know. Cool. It's fired up. Take it for a quick ride. Radio in this car. Yeah, you can't really enjoy it. <laughs> I guess if maybe if you want to hear the news on AM radio. Or <laughs> Just, you know, it's music coming out of the mufflers, you know? Yeah, for sure. You guys can check out the undercarriage and some close ups on our main website, weebyautos.com. Tons of undercarriage photos there, documentation, Martin Report, full spread of the magazine. That's nice. Yeah. It's hot today too. Oh, what are you, it's like 90, 90 degrees out? For this car, you know, it's a big block, so it runs good even in the hot weather. Yeah.